Savvy and Mandy, and today we're going to be playing one of our favorite games called Utter Nonsense. What is Utter Nonsense? Utter Nonsense is the game of accents. We're going to pick up an accent card, we're going to have to read a phrase in that accent. We're going to play a little bit differently than the original rules. We have two judges here who are going to be picking who did that accent best. Let's go. Accent number one. Valley girl. That's something we know. We're in well. the valley right now. Um, I try to be brief and to the point. Literally That's hard. it. That was the shortest <laughs> card. We're not one trick ponies around here. Now that I'm a lead choreographer, we'll be mastering jazz hands and sunbursts. Yours is better. I'm already going to give you that one. Yay! Accent. Number two. I should hope we can do this one. Sing. Thanks to treatment shampoo, now I know what it feels like to pour gasoline into my eyes and light them on fire. Don't squat on your spurs or kick a cow patty on a hot day, greenhorn. Is he? Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, thanks a lot, guys. Pirate. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Can I go first? Yeah, I go. think I got it. Arrgh. She dances a good jig, but the face of the bulldog chewing a bumblebee. Arrgh. Oh, you sounded like Frankenstein Arrgh. constipated. Back when I was growing up, music came from instruments, not laptops. We liked it that way. They don't call me savvy for nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I have to use blink every time I do this. <laughs> British. Lovely. Charming. When forced to pick between two evils, I go straight to the source and do what Magic 8 Ball tells me. When I grow up, I want to be in the middle management for my local cable provider. <gasps> Woo! British! Card number five. Australian. What I've noticed about Australian accents is that they go up at the end, always, on the sentences. <laughs> <laughs> that might... No, that, that was country. That was... Okay. <laughs> that was something. That might be the best comeback I've ever seen. Nope, oh, that's so country! <laughs> Up. That might be the best comeback I've ever seen since JT rocked that perm with the jean suit. Why it got his wooden teeth knocked out clean when that old mule kicked him right upside the head. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a somewhat. Nobody? No. Uh, who? Uh, okay. Australian wasn't as good as we thought it was. Accent number six. Ah, this is a wicked fun place, kid. Bostonian accent. Ooh. Pack, Pack the cat, cat in the yard. Uh, Pack the cat in the yard. Uh, yard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're really smart and all, but who are you trying to impress by not writing down my order? <laughs> oh my god. I like to go to weddings on beaches, even if I'm not invited. Judges? so much. <laughs> I got this one. Nerd. Nerd alert. I know we just met, but do you want to see my extensive Pez dispenser collection? Uh, I'm not sure how you made it this far without a friend named Fred. You sound like, um, uh, the sloth from oh, Ice Age. Oh, Sid. Sid. I'm Sid and Mandy. Oh, oh, she's she's so oh, 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 so Final accent. Nasal. You, sir, have inspired my patience, and now we must go. My battle of choice is hand slaps at dawn. The best part of Oh, no, no one said you couldn't grip your nose. That's not fair. Excuse me. I'm doing my scene. Sometimes you gotta cheat to win. All right, guys. So I guess apparently I am a nerd Bostonian who's British who acts like a valley girl and is a pirate. I uh, I uh, sing and uh, nasally. Yes. So I guess I'll do an accent of our choice to close this. Stitch, ready? Lilo and Stitch. Oh, hamla mums family. Family mums no bother cuts not the hounds or for that too. I'm going to try to redeem myself and do an Australian accent, so I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Savvy and Mandy. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. See, I'm winking like you now. I'm that pirate wing. <laughs>